patients with localized colorectal cancer without uh, involved lymph nodes have an excellent prognosis and most of them uh, uh, will survive after surgery. But we have to consider a group of them with poor prognostic features that do deserve treatment with adjuvant chemotherapy. Because this adjuvant or post-operative chemotherapy will increase the probability of long-term survival for them. For patients with uh, T3, T4 in zero, uh, with colorectal cancer um, and no risk factors, a strong possibility is to consider no further treatment because 80% will be long-term survivors. So therefore adding chemotherapy to this group is, to, uh, um, is not to benefit many of them. So I will concentrate, I will consider only uh, adjuvant chemotherapy for those patients with uh, uh, risk factors. When we have a localized colorectal cancer uh, without nodal involvement, we should consider if the patient had an uh, emergency operation or because the tumor was obstructed or perforated or because um, it was uh, a T4 or presented very few lymph nodes in the, in the pathology uh, specimen or because he or she presented a vascular or perineural invasion. These factors are indicating that the risk of relapse is higher and then uh, we can consider um, fluorouracil-based adjuvant chemotherapy for them. Microsatellite instability is a biological feature that is more frequently observed in right-sided colorectal cancer. So uh, for T3 um, uh, and 0 or T4 in 0, 20% uh, of patients with right-sided colorectal cancer uh, will be present in microsatellite instability, while on the left-sided uh, uh, colon cancer, only 3% will present with microsatellite instability. Microsatellite instability is a very good prognostic indicator. Normally, those patients presenting microsatellite instability do not present other risk factors. So the message is, in a patient with microsatellite instability, T3, T4, N0, uh, colorectal cancer, no adjuvant chemotherapy should be recommended. It's my recommendation to test a microsatellite instability for two purposes. First, if we have any suspicion of hereditary colorectal cancer, because this is the common feature of this group of patients, but also to avoid uh, unnecessary treatment for them, because prognosis when they have uh, negative lymph nodes is very good. Patients with uh, uh, T3, T4, um, N0, uh, colorectal cancer have relatively good prognosis so then the treatment should be based only upon the use of fluoropyrimidines or fluorouracil based. No oxaliplatin is to be considered in this uh, setting of patients. So when we are talking I mean colorectal cancer is one of the factors is age so we are going to have a significant number of patients over 70. The benefit of chemotherapy for T3, T4 is limited. So we are increasing uh, very slightly the possibility of improving survival, let's say 2-3%. So then it's very important that we consider comorbidities in patients over uh, 70. If we have an healthy uh, uh, patients over 70, I would consider adjuvant chemotherapy the same way we do in younger individuals. My main message would be um, do not overtreat patients with good prognostic factors. Most of them are fully cured by surgery. They don't need adjuvant chemotherapy. 
if they present the risk factors I previously mentioned, like perforation, obstruction, uh, vascular or perineural invasion, very low uh, yield of lymph nodes in the surgical specimen, then uh, I would consider a fluorouracil or fluoropyrimidine based adjuvant chemotherapy.